I'm excited to introduce you to the future of Daisy. What you're seeing is the Daisy world built in the newest Infusion engine. This is a glimpse into the possibilities of a Daisy 2. 10 years ago, Daisy started out as a mod on Armor 2, and with Armor 4 on the horizon, there's no telling what exciting zombie survival game will be born from it. A big thank you to Necro Wolf, who is responsible for bringing Chinaris into this new engine on Armor Reforger. Comment below and let us know if you would like to see a new DayZ game and where you think it should be set. I'm in DayZ. I'm in. I'm in. Day, I'm in. I'm in. I'm in both. How do the the game mechanics? Does it feel smooth? Uh, yeah. Uh, reasonably smooth. I mean, smoother than DayZ, I'd say. I like how the sun comes out when it comes out behind a cloud. You know, it does look nice. Look. Oh. Oh, look at the lighting. It's Daisy, but good graphics. I mean, this is a fire station, but these are all the interiors feel feel better, look better already. We got the ATC, which looks a bit familiar, right? From the outside. Yeah. Are all the doors openable. I know yeah. That's a really small thing. All the doors open. Everything looks just looks good, better. Even like the wind. Look at the windows. <laughs> I don't know. It looks so good. ATC in the Northwest Airfield. Nice. The lighting is a huge change. Nice. This is quite like Daisy, actually. If you look at the, uh, look around the Humvee. Yeah, it's very Daisy. It's, yeah, it's exactly, well, it's similar. It's similar, except from the car's work, as intended. Because it feels smooth. Oh, really, really smooth. The barracks, yeah, long barracks. You guys know the long barracks? Oh, crash my car. I really like the interiors. I don't even, can't even explain why. Oh my God. It just feels more. Doesn't that, that looks like the one <laughs> from Daisy. Go. There's some similar assets. It's just about graphics and it uh, just feels more like you're actually in a real room. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. Oh, a little bathroom. So it's where we'd hide. Just here. Yeah. I could imagine it being pretty satisfying to PvP, actually. I can really see it. I can imagine DayZ being on this engine. Right, it's the DayZ 2 that everyone's been asking for. This is what it could look like. And this is in a different game. That's the thing that blows my mind. This is in a different game. And this is Chinaris. Sunny Chinaris. There's the tents. There's the tents at the end of the run runway. Yeah, this is what I wanted to see, because I reckon these would look very familiar. Whoa. <laughs> oh, wow. That was, that was pretty epic. Well, that was really epic. It definitely feels more like a military barracks. Well, right now, it's obviously very, like, military focused, not so much like zombie apocalypse, but... Yeah. But imagine... With a few little tweaks. Imagine coming here, you loot up, you know, you get your can of baked beans, you're fighting off zombies. It's only a matter of time before there's zombies modded into this game. They're already working on it. There's already some mods. Yeah. Of some zombies. All right, so this is, you may recognize this, Chinaris. Yeah. We are up here, obviously, at the Northwest Airfield, and uh, Percy's made this Chinaris mod. He's trying to recreate the whole map. You can see that they've made it to about here, just before the big major towns on the coast. But we can explore all this, and there is towns, there's castles. Let's go to a town, right? I want to see what the buildings are like. Star is the Boar, a popular town in DC, close to the Northwest Airfield. You may recognize it. The layout is the same. They've got the church in the middle. TV. Let's check out this church. Oh, is that a shop? This is yeah. That this is, is a shop. shop. This is the version of the shop. Oh, it's Rebecca real shop. I like shop. it. It's got that dinginess of like a, a room with no lights on. That's a black cabin. Let's have a look in one of them. I mean, I don't know if we checked all of these. Nice. Whoa! Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What's he got? He's got nice. bandages. I'll take some bandages. How do you throw these? It's pulled. There's someone in there. Oh, it smashed the window. Oh, that was pretty good. Why did it pick back into your hand? I've got more than one. Oh, right. I like the way they hold it up like that. Um, Everything looks like... Oh! Free-flowing. Oh. Free-flowing. Looks smooth. So yeah, I don't know. The movements just look smooth. So obviously this map isn't finished. It's more about the potential the life this brings back into DayZ and uh, what we could potentially see in the future with Armor Games and DayZ. You know, there's there's still that, that glimmer of hope for DayZ 2. It's got a nice, the nice driving mechanics. 
slightly better graphics, better models. It does look nice. Like, in DayZ, like, you wouldn't be able to smash through his fence. I don't know if I can. You would have just died. In DayZ, you would die from smashing the fence. <laughs> Oof. I mean, this ha that does happen Ooh, in DayZ. Yeah. Now, I'm stuck. That's quite DayZ. That is very DayZ. Um, does it We've done a good job replicating <laughs> that. <laughs> There's a tree between me and the at the back of the truck. It's sub castle. They actually have the castle in there. Nice. Go take a look. It's very, it's, everything's a lot cleaner than Daisy. <laughs> it's yeah. a lot neater. Whoa. There you go. Whoa, this is creepy. <laughs> Those stairs look safer than the ones in Daisy. Oh, so they've actually got a, a, a rail. For a start. Yeah. And your character's not as janky. So you can run smoothly up stuff. That the light good. on down there. Okay, so yeah, we're down at Cherno, look. And it's a start. Still a work in it's progress. It's a work in progress, we should say. But look at this, it's the apartments that loom over Cherno. Cherno will be here, look. On the dock, they've got it all. Oh, you can see it's like mapped it's out. Mapped a out, yeah, it is. It really is. If you're as excited about this as we are, and you want to get behind it, then be sure to give this video a like. And we just hit 200,000 subscribers on YouTube, so I just want to say a big thank you to everyone out there in the Freshborns community. And if you're new here, you're welcome to hit subscribe, join us on this adventure, and we'll see you in Daisy Two.